Local researchers have discovered a ticking time bomb that could be a game changer in the fight against Alzheimer's. Now, it's not a new culprit, but they've learned something new about it. And they shared their news with me just a few hours ago. Jet skiers are out on De Anza Cove. Nearby caregiver Nyla Gutierrez feeds the birds. She brings patients here. Party today! Many of them have dementia. They'll ask you the same thing 9,000 times in one day, and that's where the patients come in. Meanwhile, seven miles away in Sorrento Valley, work is being done at USC's Alzheimer's Therapeutic Research Institute. I think this is a positive development. Dr. Paul Azen and Professor Mike Donahue are fighting the disease that stole their loved ones. My father and my grandmother. I lost uh, a grandmother to Alzheimer's disease. They say researchers have learned that one third of, quote, normal people over 65 with no memory problems have amyloid plaques on the brain. Azen and Donahue wanted to know what it meant. They discovered it's not just a risk factor. It's a sign. After 10 years, most of the people with amyloid plaques went on to get Alzheimer's disease, which led these local researchers to a stunning conclusion. We need to start our therapies early before there are symptoms. Their study, there's a lot still that I don't know, which we showed to Nyla, could give new hope. Something Nyla already tries to do when she takes her patients out. Do you see your job as quality of life? Uh, I do because you know what? It gives them some type of hope. You know? We do know. Uh, I also checked with the group Alzheimer's San Diego. They also believe that this disease develops years before symptoms appear. So both they and the researchers I talked to say that early treatment is key. There are some local trials, local studies going on. We posted the link on 10news.com. Let's click on the red TV button for more information.